afternoon guys, it is a Friday, it is about 5pm and uh, tonight I'll be DJing at 808 Fridays, I'm always there every single Friday or the Fridays that I can be there. Philly will be at Chase Lounge and she always plays at I Love R&B, but the greatest thing that came in the mail today is all the new cocaine samples, which is insane because as you guys know, we're about to start our pop-ups, let me get a knife. I'm about to tease you guys with a whole bunch of samples of the new stuff. This is how long ahead that we try to be, but at the same time, if there's anything wrong with these samples, we need to get them fixed, get another piece of samples back, get them done, and then straight to the photo shoot so we have content for, oh my God, for Instagram. Why is this thing so hard to bloody Instagram? Wait, no way. I think they've made it. Wait, is this my one? No, this is their one. Their one. Oh my god, this is... They've done it. Holy crap. They've freaking finally done it. I've been trying to release these for god knows how long. Oh, fully adjustable. Oh, yo, this is... This is so sick. Look, little logo right here. So I, I don't want too much branding on it. It has a pocket here. And then it has a zip pocket here, so you put stuff. Oh my God, they finally made it. Holy crap. This, is, this has been a long time coming. Like I've really wanted to make these gun holsters. Everyone has always asked me about these. Let's move on to something else. Oh wow. Yo, this is nice as hell. This is the black and white jump off. And then, look, if you guys can see here, it is a PVC little like, like detail with cocaine printed on top. And then no logo at the front besides on this side right here. This is so sick. Yes. 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 This is flames. Oh, this fits perfectly as well. Yo, this is so good. And then you have PVC on the side like here. And it literally says, high temperature silicon re uh, silicon reacts, real Yakuza's move in silence. That is my new slogan, real Yakuza's move in silence. And guess what? It is an actual pocket. It's not there just for looks. Look at these pants. These are so crazy. It only has the logo on one side and it goes like this. I don't know why they put a cuff at the bottom, but I'm never a big fan of cuffs. This was a really big, oh my God, it's the new logo. It's the new logo. It's the new logo jumper too. Look at this. This is the new like Metallica style uh, logo. It has pocket at the front, pockets on the side. So this is the front, just plain trackies but then on the back look at this design it is oh man this is this is nice this is really nice i really want to like wear some of this stuff to uh, the sydney pop-up but i can't because it's freaking a hundred thousand degrees yeah the clear pvc t-shirt yeah this is so sick i could so wear this so this would be perfect to layer this is so crazy like a lot of pockets, a lot of places to hang things, and the only place that has my logo is here. Very, very subtle. I like to keep it like that. No pockets inside, but it has the mesh, like the basketball short lining in it. It is insane. So cool. Bad. Okay, so this is the top. I feel like I have to wear it prior to like, fully show you guys, but you guys can see it's got the logo at the front, which is actually pretty nice, and it's in proportion. Yeah. We've had a problem every single time they first do samples. Our logo is never proportioned. And I've also got the logos on the sleeve, which I actually really like how there's a logo on each sleeve. This has a tie up kind of belt thing. And you can actually put like stuff inside, like little coins. I don't know, maybe your ID will fit in there, your credit card or whatnot. Oh, yo, this is sick. These are the new female pants that are kind of come out it's like this like waterproofy what's the material it's like 
But what is great about it is it is actually 3M if you look closely. So when you take photos of it at night in flash, it's gonna like be like reflective. The logo on the pocket right here and at the bottom, it's got the adjustable band, I would say. I really, really like these. I'm a little bit shattered that they're so big though, because I really wanted to wear them. It's uh, about time to go to DJ. Um, I'm watching First We Feast, if you guys are ever wondering what random things I watch. I'm going to tell you guys what is in my DJ bag. So usually I already have my Serato here. I use a SL2 with some uh, Japanese cables. I forgot what they're called. They are called created by Onyaid Elect. I don't know. But these ones are supposedly unbreakable and it's a lie because I've broken them, which is annoying. And then secondly, I need my charger, which is always sitting here. And I like to wrap it up nice and neatly in my bag, just so it doesn't get tangled with all the other rubbish that's in there. Last but not least, I need my laptop, my trusty laptop. I use a MacBook Pro. Um, a lot of DJs actually do use MacBook Pros just because of its reliability. It turns on when it needs to turn on and it doesn't give you the blue screen of death ever. I would love to use a Windows laptop. Trust me, I'm a big Windows fan. My desktop is a Windows. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And my bag is a Supreme bag. This thing I won in a raffle for like $25. So that is a win. All right, it's time to go. I'm gonna turn this TV off and roll out. Oh, need to put shoes on. That's, that's, that's one of the things I need to forget. Today, I've decided to wear my Y3s. These have these zips, and trust me, these shoelaces don't do anything. Zip, this is awkward. Why would you, okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. See, and they're just like this. They're bloody ridiculous, but they look really cool. Oh, I just parked up and um, it is currently 12.42 at night and our flight is at like 6 a.m. or something crazy like that. I don't finish here until like 2.30 so I need to rush in. I still haven't packed but the reason why I didn't pack so I don't go to sleep because by the time I get home it's like 3, 3.30. There's no point of going to sleep for like two hours. I might as well just stay up and on on Saturday, we don't have much to do. We just might just meet up with Ali and um, Junior and Liv and just hang out and just have dinner and something really easily. Um, so that's a good thing. That's that's the time that I can, you know, mellow out and whatever. I really need to pee, so I really need to go. Let's, let's go. Okay, that didn't work. That's not working. Why is this not working right now? Is it because my... It's because my door was open. What is up guys? So the time right now, it is 3.08 as you guys can see. I actually ended up finishing half an hour early at Chase Sound, which is kind of good because I've got a little bit of time before we have to go to the airport. I didn't vlog earlier on, but I drove down to my mom's. I dropped the dogs off there. They're going to be staying with my mom for the next four days. It was actually really sad leaving them. I always feel super bad. And even coming home just like a couple seconds ago, I usually open the door and like their tails are wagging. They're so happy to see us jumping on me. And now the house is just so quiet. It's pretty sad, but I am going to wash my face take off my makeup, just put a bit of moisturizer or redo my face for the day. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but this has like got to go because I just, just need to get it off. And then I'm gonna get changed, uh, finish packing. I'm pretty sure I've got most of everything done. Hal should be on his way home as well because he did finish at 2.32. And then we're gonna leave at about 4, 4.20 to go to Avalon Airport. So hopefully I can last and stay awake. Maybe I can fit in a nap for like 20 minutes. Let's go. Airport right now. I'm currently having a coffee, even though it is what time is it? 
It is 5.22 a.m. Our flight's at 6 a.m. We land at 7. We pick up a car. We drive to... Oh, my God. What, what's with that? That guy is going to be Oh, my God. So, this is, an, this is annoying dude that I always rent a car at. Like, it's not, he's not always there. He just works there, right? And every time he serves me, he treats he me like... Us. Yeah, he just treats me like a peasant for some other reason. <laughs> Peasant is definitely the word that I should be using, but we don't even know. As soon as we land, we don't know where we're going because it's seven in the morning. Our check-in for Airbnb is like two o'clock. Like we messed up. <laughs> yeah, we might just get a sneak laundry, hang out there for a bit, and then go to the Airbnb because the Airbnb is right around the corner from sneak laundry. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that actually really well, makes sense. Sneak laundry doesn't open until eleven. So we can go to um, Westfield. And hang out at West Coast. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, enjoy this B-roll. We'll speak to you guys as soon as we get off the plane or into our rental car. And through safety information. Yes. Option of your own. We are now in our rental car. This is the first time. Uh, it was really easy, really quick, and she just knew exactly what car, what where my booking was and stuff like that. And we're, like that was really good. I was really surprised how fast that went. And I twisted my knee on the way out of the freaking plane. And did you hear everyone scream on the plane? Yeah. Everyone's like, ah! Because like, it was mad turbulence. Like, I lost my stomach. Okay, well, um, we have no idea what we're going to do now. So, enjoy, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Evening, everybody. We are now having a little snack slash dinner slash breakfast slash lunch. We haven't eaten anything all day. We're back to our Airbnb, had a little bit of a nap and a rest, and now we're here with Alex. Hey, and he how's it going? Suggested this restaurant because supposedly it's good. Is it good? Of yeah, course. <laughs> Yo, this pizza is huge. What the hell? Compared to my hand. No, actually, that's a really bad view. Two hands. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> what? That's massive. So you can have one. Thank you. These prawns look actually really good. I was worried that it would be really like tomato -y. Doesn't look tomato -y at all, does it, babe? No, it doesn't. Okay, we can have one each. One in now. Why? You like prawns. Yeah, I was gonna have three. You like prawns. <laughs> we are having dinner or whatever, and then all of a sudden, a dog is just here chilling. She's just straight up sitting on the ground hanging out with us and we have no idea whose it is. Oh, I think it's that lady over there. Oh, that one up there. Oh, so cute. How <laughs> want a dessert so badly. Please so I don't it. even know what this is. I think it's a ricotta tort. Yep. I don't know what a tort is. It looks like a pie of some sort. Yeah, and really then good. Alex has a tiramisu, which looks pretty wild as well. Very happy. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do <laughs> Where are we right now? <laughs> Bye, Sally. Well, we just finished eating and it was pretty good. We are now finally back at our Airbnb. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys. This is like our dream apartment in general. So it's a two bedroom apartment, has a really nice lounge room plus a dining room on our left hand side right here you guys can see this is the massive massive kitchen bench like i'm really surprised how much space this place actually has for a two bedroom apartment this is the dining area right here and the crazy thing is come back this way if you guys see all these cupboards here are all storage cupboards which is the smartest way to keep storage as well so i'm really really surprised what babe look at the kitchen show them the kitchen i don't care about the kitchen this is a kitchen <laughs> Cares, no one cares about a kitchen. And then there's this nice little place here that has a whole bunch of storage cupboards as well. And then you come through here, which is the entertainment lounge, which is really nice. I like this, this is a perfect space. It's really, really clean. And then you come through this way, there's a, uh, this is the spare bathroom, I would call it, or the normal bathroom, let me turn on the light. Yeah, this is the, the, the good old bath and shower combination bullshit but let's get out of this one 
And then we're gonna walk through to the spare bedroom, which obviously has no one in there. And um, this is pretty cool because it has its own balcony, which is a cool little feature. But the, the own balcony is really weird. It's only like a one person, like, it's not that big at all. Like, not big at all. All right, let's go to the main bedroom. This is the main bedroom right here. It's not as big as I usually think a main bedroom should be. I think this is only a double sized bed. It's decent sized. And then you have your own uh, bathroom in here. What I realized actually just going through this, there's missing a wardrobe, like a walk-in wardrobe. The only wardrobe it does have is this. And it's just like a massive mirror. This is not enough for us. It's <laughs> definitely not enough for us. But Anyway guys, this is going to be the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, the next time you're going to see our videos, we will have the Sydney pop-up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button, which is just down below. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. Ah, oh, the pop-up's on Monday. That is correct. Totally forgot. Okay, I'll see you guys on Monday at the Sydney pop-up. Peace. Production time.